we're uh, starting to mess with the diesel engine, this is gonna be a first for us, flushing fresh water through it. So we're out of the water, which the diesel uses ocean water to cool it. So uh, got Lindy up here about to start the engine. And here's a hose that I've got in a bucket. And there's the intake for the old diesel. So should be pretty simple. I think we're just gonna start the engine and that's it. And I'm gonna keep water running through. So, all right, here we go. All right, fire her up, Lindy. Got water coming out the back. Water coming in here. Yeah, I can see water flowing. There we go. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll be able to leave the boat without having salt water just all through the passages. So that's a good thing. All right, it's working pretty good. Pulls a lot of water. I'm just barely keeping up with it with the hose, or not really keeping up with it. So we'll see. We may have to shut it down if the bucket gets too low. But yeah. We flushed fresh water through the exhaust system until we were sure that all the salt water had been removed. After that, I continued to do maintenance on the diesel engines, filters, and fluids, while Lindy worked on cleaning the interior of the boat. All right, the rest of the day has been productive, hard at work. Lindy's uh, cleaned more cabinets over here and in the bathroom. What you got there for me, Lindy? Uh, this is just uh, all the... Tupperware kind of containers that all of our uh, dry goods go in so they don't get uh, bug infestations. Anyway, Zach's going to clean them. Awesome. A afternoon chore for me or evening. All right, so I changed the oil and oil filter and changed the transmission fluid. And then just now I've drained all the coolant out. First time I've ever done that before. And uh, we're going to try to replace the coolant. Uh, but that will happen tomorrow because it's the end of the day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. We're still doing really good ahead of schedule, I'd say. It's about halfway through the next day. I've finished the diesel engine. I put the uh, coolant back in. That went well. And uh, changed the fuel filters, started it back up, and checked the oil and all to make sure there was no leaks and that all the levels were right and everything looked good. I've went to work on the outboard motor and I've completely serviced it today. There she is, looking very nice. All right. Yeah, Lindy's working on cleaning stuff down below, bathroom and whatnot, and then. Uh, yeah, I need to service the water maker next. That's a wrap. Long day. Uh, I did finish servicing the water maker, so that's done. So a lot of the big jobs complete. Today's Friday. We're flying out on Wednesday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We've got to just keep on wrapping things up. We'll eventually be done. So yeah, looks good in here. Yeah, everything is uh, done in here except the quarter berth and then just uh you know the exterior surfaces wiping down the ceiling and the and uh lifting up the cushions and vacuuming and wiping that down that's last minute because it's a mess so we'll probably start tomorrow on the <clears throat> quarter berth yeah all right hanging out in the yard <laughs> they put a new boat in today we're all barricaded in now. <laughs> We call the quarter berth our garage, and like your garage at home, it's stuffed with a bunch of junk and over time gets dirty, messy, and needs organizing. So we pulled everything out, cleaned it, and did our best to put it all back in in an orderly manner. Okay, we finished and organized the uh, quarter berth. Looks pretty good. And then I went to work on stuff that we need to have done by the beginning of next season. It was really hard. <laughs> so we needed we needed to replace the dripless shaft seal waffle or baffle. 
whatever that black thing is. You're supposed to do it every seven years and it's been seven years now. So I had to get the coupling off of the shaft there and that was not easy. I had, we have a uh, flexible coupling here. So I had to take that off and then I put uh, sockets in between the shaft on the opposite side of the coupling here and then bolted it through and it pushed the shaft out the back it took all day long oh my gosh i was cranking those nuts over and over and over and over and over and finally it broke free so now we just need to get a new one of the black thing there and then reinstall everything and uh you know i may not do that till we get back but i'm kind of glad i got this part done so uh yeah first time doing that wasn't too bad but that's all i got in me for today so we're about done i think lindy did some uh staining of the wood or i should say teak oil teak oiling of the wood around so that went good how, how much teak oiling did you get done um i i got to just basically like cockpit and beyond okay uh my my foam brush started disintegrating so okay it was making more of a mess than it was actually <laughs> getting stuff on all right well let's go get cleaned up and do nothing but rest <laughs> so the next day and uh three days before we leave we we did a lot of the down and dirty stuff today i got into the bilges and uh cleaned out the shower sump oh it was disgusting but i got it all clean so uh it's uh won't be nice and stinky through the time we're gone i cleaned out the main bilge service the bilge pump kind of cleaned it up made sure it was working great so that we don't have a boat full of water when we get back lindy who's doing something down here right now what you doing lindy i'm just getting out some bronze wool to uh put uh in the through holes from the bottom so it helps prevent uh bugs and stuff from coming up and setting a nest there that's a good idea so lindy today did uh cleaned my grill for me boy she got it all spiffy looking that was a nasty job we pulled the chain out of the uh, chain locker because we're replacing it so it's gone and just down on the ground give it away to somebody i put uh all the gasoline into its own container and put some stabilizer in it we've uh finished everything down in the lazarette so that's packed back up so uh we just got done making a list and we think tomorrow we're gonna really kind of get most things wrapped up so maybe we'll even be done a day early that was his goal he he made that goal uh a few weeks ago that he wanted to be done a day early <laughs> we'll see if it happens <laughs> yeah so that's about it we're uh ready to go re rest tonight and go at it again tomorrow lindy continued oiling the exterior teak as we got closer and closer to being finished with all the prep work to leave holiday for a few months it felt good that we were really down to the last few things and we didn't feel rushed being ahead of schedule we've never been ones to do much maintenance on anything but safety keeping the boat afloat and making it go so it's good that once a year we focus on cosmetic maintenance as well as the more important stuff one thing I try to do when we leave the boat is slop a bunch of wax onto the deck as sort of like a sunscreen for the gel coat. I don't even buff it or anything, just smear on a thick layer. Okay, look at this. Bunch of things crossed off the list. Like all the things. The water maker down below, all the through holes are closed. We've got our damp red bags hung up around the boat to keep the moisture at bay. Wow, we're done a day early. Great job, Lindy. Okay, got our gas cans down here. 
Yeah. Put our sunscreen all over the hull of the boat. Okay. Very nice. That's a wrap. Take tomorrow off, do a few little things, then fly out the next day. All right, so it's the morning of our flight. We didn't do too much yesterday. We just, uh, you know, lazied around because we were a uh, day ahead. And today we're here washing up our last few things. We'll carry them back to the boat. And uh, then, yeah, we're all packed now. That's it. We got uh, everything back on the boat, everything set up to be gone for a few months. There it is. <laughs> the end to another season. It's all looking good. Just turn a few things off. That's it. All right. All right. Goodbye, Grenada. See you next season. It's always a little sad and somewhat strange leaving Holiday for the last time, knowing that in about 24 hours we'll be visiting that world that we used to live in. But the small break is always nice, and of course, we enjoy seeing our friends and family. We hope you liked sailing around with us for our seventh season. We certainly loved the relaxed cruising of only sailing around Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines this year. Stay tuned for season eight, where we'll cruise further up the Eastern Caribbean channel. I did finish uh, putting the, uh, uh, <laughs> well, I can't think straight. <laughs> I've only eaten a granola bar today. <laughs>